In this presentation, we're going to review the variation of parameters method to solve second order uh, differential equations, linear differential equations. So um, up here, I've got the basic idea of the method. Suppose I have a second order differential equation in homogeneous. So P and Q are functions of x. They could be constants. And in fact, they're the, the kinds of functions that we've been looking at. f of x is some given function, like x squared or something. Suppose um, when, when f equals 0, this problem has the so-called homogeneous solution. Just a linear combination of two um, solutions, y1 and y2, that are, uh, that are linearly independent, right? A linear combination of two linearly independent solutions. Well, the variation of parameters method says that I can build a particular solution to this problem from the y1 and the y2 in the following way. Okay, so w here is just the Ronskian. It's the determinant um, of this particular matrix. So let's have a look at an example and uh, see how, how it works out. Now, the printer didn't print all the pages that I wanted, so I've just sort of handwritten it in. Okay, well, we're asked to solve this problem here, and we're given a little hint. We're told that this is the general solution to the corresponding homogeneous problem. So these two problems are the same, except there's a zero here and a function here. So this is called the homogeneous problem. So big A and big B are constants. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing we want to do is identify our y1 and y2. Well, y1 would be cosine x, and y2 would be sine x in this case. So. Okay, well, essentially, we want to build a particular solution to our uh, problem just through these sort of um, you, these integrals. All right. Now, notice that the formula depends on the Ronskian. So the first thing I like to do is actually d um, calculate the Ronskian of my y one uh, of this matrix. Okay. So to do that, I need to compute the derivatives. So um, that's going to be something like minus sine x. And this derivative will be cosine x. So the Ronskian then is just the following. So now remember for 2 by 2 determinants, it's just a multiplication. So that times that minus that times that. So it's going to be cosine squared minus minus sine squared, which is just cos squared plus sine squared. OK? So. To build this solution, well, that's going to be 1. My f of x, my right-hand side, will be 1 on cosine x. So all I'm going to do is sort of build these two parts um, individually. So let's call this, say, uh, star. So the general solution uh, to start, is just the homogeneous solution plus a particular solution that we construct, y sub p. And 
and we build the particular solution from my homogeneous solution, y sub 1 and y sub p. Now, the v1 and v2 here are functions that we want to determine. But actually, the, they're here. v1 will be minus that integral. v2 will be that integral. Okay? So, what we're going to do is just calculate what v1 and v2. Okay, so I'm dropping the x's here just to save a bit of space. So uh, y sub 2 is sine x, f is 1 on cosine x, and w is 1. All right. So I can um, kind of simplify this in a, in a little way. Now, here I'm faced with a reasonably challenging integral, the integral of sine x on cosine x. <laughs> what's on the top is almost the derivative of what's on the bottom. Okay? Almost. In particular, if I put that minus sign in, it's exactly minus sine x is exactly the derivative of cosine x. This means that I'll get some sort of logarithm as my integral. Okay? It'll be the logarithm of what's ever down here. Now, if you're worried about it, you can always make a substitution. You know, let u equal cos x and do it that way. Okay, now, I don't have to worry about a constant of integration for these ones. Okay, so that's V1, um, and V sub 2 is just this integral here. Okay, so let's work that out. Okay, W is 1, Y1 is uh, cosine x. And f is 1 on cosine x. That's kind of neat. So I'm integrating 1 here. All right. So what's my y sub p going to be? It's v1 times y1. So v1's this. So multiply that by my y1, cosine x. So I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so I'll get something like cosine x times log cosine x plus v2 y2. So v2 is down here, so that's just plus x sine x. Okay? So now as a final step, I've calculated my y sub p. What I want to do is use this now. Okay, so the solution y to start is the hom homogeneous solution plus a particular solution. So it's going to be something like a cosine x plus b sine x plus cosine x log cosine x plus x sine x.